I was about to cancel, call in and cancel, the, but then a part of me said, your mind is making excuses. Um, I think every day I learnt something new, so yeah, it was fantastic. Well, to be quite honest, I, I didn't have any expectations other than I knew it would be good for me, body, soul and heart. If there's a particular issue, people want to try and work on something that's blocking them, an obstacle they've got in their life, I think this is really powerful. I describe it best like my life is looks like a snow globe. NLP just shook it all up and then put it back on the shelf and everything was settling. And I was sort of, I panicked at the time. Oh, is it all going back in the right place? What I've found is that it's a really well engineered program. And the material that he offers is extremely difficult to grasp. And he explains it in a way and gives examples in, in everyday life that really helps us to understand uh, what that particular message is. He's a really good teacher. There's a breadth of content. What you cover in a really short space of time um, and the way that you do that, really with a good balance of head and heart, um, there's, there is, as I said, an elegant simplicity in the way that you've put the program together. And it's actually really powerful. My witnessing of myself is deepening opening to what I would say would be a truer me. And as the course went on, everything settled in exactly the right place. And I felt empowered to be something that I never was before. Um, and it's exceeded the expectations because of all the deep NLP work that uh, Peter's done with us has brought out some really significant things about my life that I probably hadn't even considered before. What I've taken from this is that whatever excuse you make is actually an excuse you make. It's not an excuse out there. So you should be able to do it every single day without hesitation. Because the impact and benefits that you derive from this are immeasurable. I would suggest anyone to be a part of this program, either as part of the community or as a leader, because it's just been phenomenal. Within someone, even if they don't know why, they feel some kind of connection, this is something they want to do, then it's worth, you know, connecting with that and pursuing that. It's been absolutely amazing. Hi, my name is Peter Radcliffe. And today I want to speak to you about success. And let's start off with a little game, shall we? How successful are you? And how successful do you think you will become? Now, I ask those questions because uh, in all my experience, I feel there is one thing above everything else that determines our success. And that is our self-image. That image of ourselves on how successful we are is so influential on the results that we achieve that I want to spend the next 30 minutes or so discussing this particular topic and how you can find success by simply transforming your mind. Now, I made a transformation about 10 years ago uh, from a life being an engineer to one of being a transformational life coach. And I now coach people from around the world, amazing people that I love, and show them how they can find the best aspects of their mind to find their own uh, particular success. And I wanna talk a little bit more about that journey later, but also I wanna uh, introduce you to two other coaches who have, like me, made massive transformations from the world of accounting and even from the world of car sales into coaching people uh, to find success in themselves. And I also want to take you through uh, the secrets of success. And between Manor, who's an amazing life coach, and Andy, who's one of the most incredible uh, business minds that I've come across, we want to give you a pathway and an understanding of how you can take yourselves to that level of success. And not only that, because I believe that success is also in large part around like-minded people coming together, I want to give you an opportunity at the end to meet with one of our master coaches, free of charge, to discuss how you might fit in with our tribe and our company 
to see if there are opportunities that uh, you might be able to assist us in helping us make more transformation in the world. So let's jump on over to the slides, shall we? Okay. Okay, so how to become a successful life coach. To build the life that you love with the people that you respect. And that last part is probably the most important. It has to be people you respect because you need a tribe around you to pull you up into the success that you deserve. If ever we go through stumbles, it's our network that is there to support us. So the other thing I want to say is put away your credit cards because we've got nothing to buy on this webinar. This is purely for you to find out whether you've got what it takes to become a really successful coach. Now, why are we doing this? Well, post COVID-19, there is a growing demand for coaches. The government are pumping money now into mental health and there will be a continuous change as we go into the future with social disruption. Industries that are going to thrive are ones like life coaching. This webinar is definitely for you if you have the passion to help transform people. Now, who this workshop is not for? Well, it's not for you if you believe that you can just make squillions of dollars without putting in any other work. Now, there's lots of presentations that sort of say something along this kind of lines, and we're gonna be completely transparent and say, no, that's not the case. We have to put in the effort to do that. And I've got slimy Sam here telling us all the things that you know other people do tell, and, and the truth is that that's not the case. It's not for you if you don't want to achieve measurable results for your clients. This is about giving results which are measurable, which transform people quickly. The next reason that this workshop might not be for you is if you're not coachable yourself. If you believe you know everything and you don't need your own coach, then you're not really of our tribe because we are all humble enough to realize that everyone is growing. So now, now we know who the workshop is not for. What will we learn from this workshop, I hear you ask? Well, there are three keys to achieve real results, which I wanna go through, and real change for your clients. The first key will be how to create instant change, both for yourself and your clients, and I wanna really take you through that as an example. The second area, which I wanna hand over to uh, manner, an amazing coach to take you through is the five secrets that every successful coach does in order to be successful. These are the foundations that each and every successful coach does without fail. And then the third one, which we want to get uh, another of our experts, Andy, to talk about is how to create your own personal pathway once you know the five secrets. Now, you might want to ask, you know, where did we get these five secrets and do they work? Well, I can guarantee they work because they're the very secrets that have been the foundation of my success. You see, when I started, I had no idea. I was an engineer for 20 years. What I knew how to do was to place reinforcement bar and, and pour concrete because that's what I did was multi-story buildings. I had no idea, but I had a passion and my passion was for getting the best out of the mind. And whilst I was working in Asia, I took the time out to learn the various traditions there. And I was amazed what I found and I decided meditation was one of the best techniques. And I actually went and ordained myself as a monk in Thailand to try to find that clarity in my mind. And every sacrifice has been worth it. And every course that I've done, I've Learn from the best of the best. Different people, Wilbert Molinar and Paul Bennett, and then I went to the US and learned from one of the founders of NLP, Robert Dilt's courses on multiple brain integration and things like that to understand what it is that creates success in our mind and those of others. So you can be guaranteed that this has been tried and tested, not only by myself, but by Mana and Andy and others, and it does work. Where are you right now? 
Are you passionate about helping others but not sure where to start? What are you earning now? And what is your ideal income? Do you have a modality that achieves real results, fasts? Or do some of your interventions not work? Or do you not have any modality at this stage? It doesn't matter. Those things can be learned by putting in place the five foundations. Where are you at with your business? Do you want to create a business? Or have you already got a business that you want to scale up? Do you want to make money while you sleep by creating courses that sell online so that you've got some passive income? Where are you at right now? We all know as coaches that the three things you need to help people transform is where are they now, where do they want to be, and what is stopping you from getting from where you are now to where you want to be. And what is the biggest thing that is holding you back from achieving your goal? If you can identify that, then we can help you break through that and find it so much easier to achieve the other side of success. In fact, it's Tony Robin who says, if you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always gotten. So just imagine instead from 12 months from now, achieve a successful coaching business, getting real results for clients, and finally, having a job which you wake up and are passionate about every morning. How would that feel? As I said, identify with that persona right now. Go ahead and just identify. That is the key takeaway of achieving what you want. We need to also take other steps. And to do that, we do need the commitment. The commitment to change into the person that we want to be that you can visualize. So my question for you is, are you ready? Are you ready to go? To start with, we're gonna get three things. We're gonna get a pen and a paper to make notes, but we're also going to get in state. Now, what do I mean by in state? Well, it just so happens that that is the topic of our first key, because the key to create instant change in yourself and your clients is the ability to control your state. Just as I said that in order to achieve success, you need to identify with a successful self. When you make decisions, you need to be in an empowered state. When we're in a empowered, confident, and yet perhaps open and generous and open hearted state of mind, feeling good about ourselves. We don't make bad decisions, you know, we make good decisions. So the single biggest factor in making a good decision is not even the facts on the table, it is the state you're in when you make that decision. So how do we create instant change in ourselves and in others? Well, we can teach you a number of ways, but the one which I like perhaps the best is something that we learn in coaching called anchoring. If you can put a state of happiness and confidence into your mind, then you can anchor it with some sort of physical feeling on your body. So go ahead and let's feel confident. Remember a time when you felt confident. Can you get into that state now? Bring back the memory and live it as if you were living it right now. Close your eyes. Go back to that time where you can see the things that you saw, hear the things that you heard, and feel those feelings of being confident. Now, when you're feeling confidence surging through your body, just use your right hand to grab your left thumb and give it a squeeze on your left thumb. And feeling the pressure of your hand on your left thumb, imagine all that confidence being stored right there in the touch as you squeeze your left thumb. That is what we call an anchor. And you can anchor multiple states. So going through this presentation, another undervalued state I believe is curiosity. Think of a time when you were really curious, like when someone gave you a present but you weren't allowed to open it yet. So curious to know what it is. Or perhaps there was a learning that you had to wait for and you are curious to know what that learning was, but you weren't there with the person to tell you at that time. Feel that curiosity, that's what we like to see. We need more of that in the world. 
and then squeeze your left thumb, anchoring the feeling there. And then notice, if you just clear the screen of your mind, that now whenever you squeeze your left thumb, you'll feel that confidence and curiosity come back into your mind. Go ahead and try that now. Let me know if I'm correct in having that curiosity and that confidence come back. So now we're in a great state. We're ready to move on and make good decisions based on the five secrets that every successful coach does. But as we go into key number two, I want to introduce you to one of the most amazing coaches that I know. Mana Abram is a board member of the NLP Association of Australia. She's one of the few clinical qualified NLP masters in Australia. But more than that, she just has an almost spiritual power to connect with people deeply and see the changes that need to be made within those people. Within one or two sessions of knowing manner, you'll be so clear about what you need to do to take your life to the next step. So let me introduce Mana now and find out a little bit about her and she can take us through the five secrets that every coach needs to have in order to be successful. Thank you, over to you Mana. Thanks Pete. Hi, I'm Mana. I'm a business and transformational life coach, strong advocate of personal leadership and emotional independence. Women empowerment and empowering young professionals is the key driver in everything I do. I spent over 20 years in the business world as qualified chartered accountant and a business advisor, transitioning projects between countries and building teams from various cultures and backgrounds. One thing I found myself doing again and again is coaching entrepreneurs, business owners, leaders, teams and employees on their mindset. The shifts that happen externally are triggered by the shifts that happen internally in your minds. In this journey, I realized one can fall and learn to get up again and again, or learn not to fall and still be successful and happy. That's my passion and purpose. Not to fall and still be successful and happy. My past is now meaningful. I'm a full-time NLP coach, coaching and mentoring number of people around the world, transforming their minds and thereby their lives. Just doesn't matter where you come from, what you do or what you are doing. Your life experiences will help you to give a better service and to help your clients better. And you can make your past meaningful too. Let's get on to the key two. The five secrets every successful coach does. This secret, what we are going to talk about, is just not limited to coaches. Every successful person in the world follows this secret. In NLP, we talk about modeling, modeling the experts. Why do you think? we focus on modeling. Let's dive into it. Secret one is mind mastery. It's so important for a successful coach to master your own mind. Would you go to a swimming coach who does not know swimming? That's right. So how do you think if you don't master your mind, you can be a master coach for others? One of my very favorite quotes is, be the change you want to see in the world. Because the life of a coach is like living in a glass house where you're constantly influencing your clients. And you're just not influencing your clients, you're inspiring and influencing people all around you all the time. Whether it's your family, kids, colleagues, or even in a casual setting. All the successful people on the world, they have great coaches and mentors to keep them in this great mindset. And self-discipline, self-discipline begins with mind mastery. And once you can control your thoughts and you can control your actions, you can control what you do. Have you ever heard of a code state? A code state is where you remain calm, you're open, you're aware but with attentiveness. You're centered and you're holding the space. When you master your mind, you give confidence to your clients and the trust to your clients. So remember to master your own mind before thinking about becoming a successful coach. And just like a doctor needs a doctor, a successful coach needs a successful coach. Let's get on to the second secret, the results-driven modality. 
for you to be a successful coach it's important to be result driven coach and for you to be a results driven coach you have to choose a results driven modality one of my client claire she was seeing a psychiatrist for more than 18 to months for chronic fatigue she never got a result but in just one session she could see the root cause and a successful coach can pinpointedly help you to see that and once you give such a result to your client that builds your reputation and that reputation gives you more referrals so would you rather want to just build any client database or do you want to build a database of clients for whom you deliver results so it's important for you to be focusing on the results and choosing those platforms that will deliver results let's now move on to the third secret which is the growth network every successful person in the world whether it's a sports person or it's a doctor or a lawyer or a business person they have their networks it's so important for you to be part of such network that leads you to success a successful coach deliberately they seek the company of people who influence them to think and act on building the life they desire isaac newton he says if i have seen further than others it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants and you know what what happens when you have this growth network around you that's called strategic networking so as part of your growth network it's important for you to identify those networks that resonate with you that aligns with your values that inspires you and supports you and this growth network gives that environment and support for you to grow for you to flourish so focus on growth network the fourth secret we are going to talk about is a scalable program this is another amazing aspect for every successful coach or a wellness practitioner in this day and age you see many award winners in the media social media newspapers do you think they are the best in the world no they made themselves visible to the world they had a message just like you but they made themselves visible to the world so you can choose either to be visible to the world and spread your message and share your thoughts or be the world's best kept secret for you to have a scalable program never 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 forget this simple acronym idea which is i i stands for identifying your strengths identify your talents identify your niche identify your message identify your audience once you do that the next step is about delegation d stands for delegation most of the people they think not reaching out and doing it by themselves is independence delegate what others can do and you do what you are good at and allow others to do what they are good at and support you in your success then e stands for engaging engage experts it's important for you to engage an expert who is good in helping you to create what you would like to create here we run a program for uh, coaches and wellness practitioners we help them to establish their businesses you may not have everything that you need but you definitely have one strength that will push you there so it's important to engage experts who can help you and then comes a action everybody is different you may be a great coach as one on one coach or group coach or you are a good speaker or a writer or a person who can deliver programs online or you can be a person who can deliver programs in person a successful coach never compares with others a successful coach will always work with their own strengths aligned to their values so what are your strengths and what are your values what are you good at then we come to the last secret for this webinar the fifth one which is mentor modeling here we have a mastermind group we catch up every fortnight and what happens in that mastermind group is we brainstorm we bring case studies and people have different modalities and as a, a, as a coach you should be open to different perspectives so it's a honest open brainstorming platform to constructively criticize and bring various perspectives there's a different synergy of energy when people come together in the mastermind group and when two minds come together there's an invisible intangible force that is created call a third mind and with that your success becomes effortless i will leave you with this thought 
as Jim Rohn says, you are the average of the five people around you. And I'll introduce you to Andrew Keating, who is a master in messaging, an award winner, sales strategist. He helped many coaches and well wellness practitioners to establish their businesses, design their programs, and launch them online. Over to you, Andy. Thanks, Mana. My name is Andrew. I look forward to taking you through this next stage of the process. So this is about creating your own personal pathway because we're all on different stages of our journey. So we told you the five things that you need to become successful. Now we're gonna look at how to create that personally for you. Because like I said, we're all at different stages. So for example, in my life, I started off with the modality first, but I was using it in a completely different context. So I was in sales and I was using the modality and the change modality we was talking about to help influence and market to other people to buy the products that I was selling. It wasn't until later on when I really felt that uh, I could use this in a more positive way to help people heal and to influence other people's lives that it really took a, a different turn for me. So I started with one modality in place then I started putting the other things in place from the five secrets to create my own personal pathway. And that's what we're gonna focus on in this next step. So let's move over and deep dive back into them slides. Okay, so here we are back at the slides on key number three, which is how to create your own pathway to success. Now you are all at different stages of your coaching journey. For some of you, you'll be thinking about becoming a coach. For some of you, you are already a coach and looking how to scale your business, either because you're so busy working one-on-one -on -one that you can't fit any more clients on, or two, that you're just getting burnt out, because that's the biggest issue that I see with coaches. They either get burnt out or they go broke, because they end up being the best kept secret. Although you need every single one of these five things to be successful, it's really important to have your own personal pathway mapped out. So I'm just gonna show you this one here. So your pathway might look something like this. This here was my pathway. I started with the modality. I then got the, the proper mentoring and got the right thing in place. And then it just took my journey on and that grew my business exponentially. So what would have the biggest impact on your journey right now? Would it be mind mastery? Would it be the results driven modality? Would it be a growth network or a scalable program or mentor modeling? So think about one of the things that you have. You might have nailed this down already. So potentially you may already have had some coaching yourself and what you're doing is you're looking at then changing and becoming a coach so you can help other people heal and the trauma that potentially you may have gone through yourself. Maybe you're already a successful coach, so burnt out of working one-on-one, -on -one, you've no more time in the day, that really need to scale your program up so you can help and benefit more people. So which is it for you right now? So if you had to choose one, what are you good at? What do you already have under your belt right now? So now you know that, what would have the biggest impact on your journey. So what would be the next thing that you really need out of this? So I think now you've got that, how can you make that achievable? What are the strategies that you're going to use to make yourself successful at this? What's your vision? Have you got the large goal and have you broken that down into micro goals? So what now? Now you've gone through all these keys, you may be feeling a little bit like this lady here, where it just all seems so much to take on board and so much to do. And you're looking and going, you know, I just don't know where to go next. I don't know what step I need to follow next. And what it is, is you're stuck in what's called analysis paralysis. So all this information, I've got all this expertise. I just don't know how to funnel that into something sellable and something that people want to know and want to achieve. Well, let me tell you, you're not on your own. Many of our clients who come through our process, just like Jane here, 
who writes, Andrew and Manor, words cannot express how glad I am we crossed paths. Nor are there not enough words to express my gratitude to you for both pushing me to do the thing I have wanted to do for so long. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. And Kate here. And Kate has a beautiful business now where she helps mums rediscover who they are. The biggest thing for her was she's about to launch a programme that she didn't have at the start of that journey. Or Patrizia here from the UK, who said her biggest takeaway was being surrounded by the most supportive group of people who accept me and my business idea with no judgment. Being handheld through this complex process of creating a course and feeling like this dream of having my own course is actually really becoming a reality. And Patricia now is working with domestic violence sufferers and helping them on their journey to recovery. Oh, we've got Bronwyn here. And Bronwyn is a beautiful lady who for years has been trying to get her business up and running. And she said it's it's hard to nail down the biggest takeaways from this course for me, as I've had so many. It has challenged me in ways that have been quite uncomfortable at times, has given me amazing inner growth and the skills and knowledge to enable me that, to see that I can actually create my dream business. I'm so grateful to have been guided through this course and be sharing the journey with such amazing supportive group of fellow entrepreneurs. I'm so excited about where I can see my life going from here. So you're not on your own. There's lots of people that can help you on your journey. You've got two decisions to make. You can have, a, have watched this and hopefully you've taken some really good stuff away from what we've talked about. It's given you some ideas that you can implement and you can action and take action and you've made that commitment to change and you can go away and try it by yourself. However, at the beginning of this, Peter talked about how we can help you and how we can show you the best way forward. I'd like to invite you to book a call with the button down below. One of our master coaches can talk you through and create your own pathway to success. It's no obligation, but it's about taking action from what you've heard today. It's about having all the information to make an informed decision. And once you do that, you can make a decision to change or you can make a decision to stay and try as you are. And I'm gonna leave you with this. Build your own dreams or someone else will hire you to build theirs. Book a call and let's see if we can take you to that next step. Let's see if we can point you in the right direction. Or you can go back to your life, forget this ever happened, don't do the same things and expect different results. Take action, press the button below, book that call, and see how your life will change from there. Thank you for staying to the end of this presentation. Thank you for spending the time with us in this workshop. From Peter, Manor and myself, we're here to support your journey and we hope to work with you very shortly. Goodbye.